Ride with me as I do a neighborhood drive through tour of the lakes. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and we are going to be doing a neighborhood drive through tour of the lakes. Don't get confused with the lakes or Lake Las Vegas, it is a totally different master plan community. Um, to the left is some shopping area. We'll come and take a tour of this last. Uh, lakes is in between right now, we're on Sahara and Durango and all the way to Hualapai to um, Desert Inn. And to the right is this guard-gated community called Canyon Gate, which is a golf course neighborhood. But anyways, so the Lakes is a master plan community on the western side of the Las Vegas Valley, east of Summerlin. So it's super close to a lot of the Summerlin amenities, which is really nice. And a lot of people like the easy access to the Summerlin amenities. Now, the Lakes is a two square mile neighborhood and they named it the Lakes because of there's one man-made lake in this neighborhood. They had planned to do two lakes, but for some reason they only did one lake. Um, and I've done a video on this neighborhood and I've also done a video comparing it to Desert Shore. So, check out my YouTube channel for that. Straight ahead is the lake. We're going to just take this one big loop and come back to the end and um, tour some of these amenities that are offered in this community. So they call the lake Lake Sahara and it's a 30 acre lake that surrounds the community. The communities that are on the water are guard gated or gated communities um, and they surround and it makes this big old loop. So the outside communities do not have access to the lake and also um, there are condos, townhomes and single family residents here. There's huge homes that are over a million dollars because they're on the water and the people that live on the water have their own dock and they can have their own boat which is really cool um, so it's a very beautiful master plan community that was developed in the mid 80s to the mid 90s so it took 10 years to build um, so yeah we're just going to take a tour around it the only difference between this and desert shores is that Desert Shores has four man-made lakes and everyone has access to those lakes or everyone can enjoy those lakes. Um, here, it's very hard to view the lakes, but what they do have throughout the community, which we're going to look at, is they have like four ponds scattered throughout one section of this neighborhood where they have beautiful ducks and waterfalls. So that, I think that kind of makes up for not actually, oh actually have in the water. That was a big old dip. They need to put a sign saying big dip. <laughs> that was cray cray. <laughs> so here is one set of these little ponds that they have. I'm going to pull over to this one right here. Um, I'm not going to get out because there's a guy there, but I will get out on the next one. Since we're here, let's take a tour of one of the neighborhoods. So granted, this was developed in the mid 80s. So a lot of these homes are much older. Some of them are well maintained. I'm not quite certain what the HOA is in this community. Um, so this looks like, no, nope, I was gonna say it looks like a single story community for the most part it is where this section is the blue roof Right. 
straight ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take some pictures of these houses. gray houses in this neighborhood my neighborhood is very 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 strict when it comes to house color and I live next to Desert Shores in a community called South Shores um, it feels like I need to go this way to get out of here no nope. I'm just gonna get lost in this neighborhood looks like a lot of people redoing stuff See you guys on the flip side. Last time I did a video here, I was amazed at this water as well. It's like green and foamy. I guess it's safe for the ducks. So they have these spread out. I think I think there's about a total of four sets of them spread out through the other side of the lake. Oh, look at that guy standing on one leg. All right, I'm going to get back to the car and continue on trucking. See you on the flip side. So the lakes has, um, this community has over 4,000 homes in it. And, um, I'm just gonna take a look real quick on this. This is called Waterford Place. And they do have two parks, but they're really not parks in my opinion. They're like just like little picnic tables and bench. I don't think there's playground facilities. And there is no community pool in this neighborhood either. Um, so, but they do have some walking paths around the community. And those walking paths have like the uh, exercise stations throughout, just like in Piccoli Ranch. And this is actually next to Piccoli Ranch. So this is another neighborhood here in the lakes. I 
like it when it's trash day because it makes the neighborhood look dumpy. <laughs> but it's still a very nice neighborhood. that they have on each side of the street a little pond area that's number two so we should have two more to go Each neighborhood section has these little ponds by it. It's not a lake, but it, it's something that you can enjoy the beauty of the duckies and the geese. Actually, I think that's it. I don't think there's any more. So there was three sets of ponds. We'll keep on driving and see. Crossing Fort Apache and what road is this called? Lake South. Lake South. We were on Lake North. Oh, I guess isn't that just not a street? Oh well. This is gonna take us to the lake itself. Lake North had the four sets of ponds, and now we're heading towards Lake South, where we're gonna see glimpses of the Lake Sahara. Folks, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, just got out of the car. People are trimming the trees down. So this is what they consider a park. <laughs> to me, a park has playgrounds, I guess, maybe. A little open lawn area. They have park benches, picnic tables, and this is the, the Lake Sahara. And this is all that you really can enjoy while you're here. 
Um, as you can see, there's some condos that are on the lake. And then they do have a lot of huge, I mean, huge houses. It's becoming a very windy day. And they have public restrooms back there. I mean, it's nice to see, but they have to be really rich to own a house on the water. I'd love to own a house on the water. I'd love to live in desert shores. Sorry. <laughs> barbecue pits. Okay. Um, there are, I forgot to mention, I did say that there's walking trails, but there's about 15 miles of walking trails throughout the entire community, which is really nice. Then you have some views of the Red Rock National Conservation Mountains. I'd like to own a pontoon boot, boat right there. That'd be cool. All right, folks, I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah, like my friend lives off of that. He lives off the water? Yep, he's got a house. Wow. I played there before, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, I remember during the summer. Yeah, it looks like couple. Italy, like, it reminds me of. Well, probably because it's more Mediterranean. Yeah. So then you have these neighborhoods that are on the outskirts of the waterfront properties. And all the waterfront properties are gated. The South Shore Villas, that would be kind of nice to live in a condo on the water. the lakes lounge that's been around since the community opened I'm gonna get out and take a video tour of this little shopping center and then we'll continue on driving around the lakes Lake Town Center you have a mini mart baby birds cafe King and I the lakes lounge Lakeshore Salon and Day Spa, Doggy Oasis, Papa's Custom Apparel, Picture Perfect Party Decor, Serendipity Events, Walnut Music Academy, Those Guys Pies, Mojave Skin. It's kind of hard to imagine that uh, all that is in here. Serendipity Events is right there. I like the whole nautical theme. Then you have King and I Thai and Chinese food. Then you have the salon and day spa. So I like having this uh, close by. Those guys' pies. Pizza, ah. Baby birds. There's the lakes lounge right there. And there is a little peekaboo right over here. Baby Birds Cafe. Huh. Interesting. These houses are 
humongous. Look at that one straight ahead. That looks interesting. I like the color of the water though. What's this? Private dock property. Huh. Okay. I like the mountain in the backdrop. I wonder if these businesses do well. Picture perfect party decor, doggy oasis. Huh. Boutique and the lake. Mini Mart. It's cool. I need to get some beverages, some smokes. There you go. Alrighty, I just did a whole 360 around this shopping center. I get in my car, so I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, let's continue on with this tour. Basketball courts, a tennis court, and two half basketball courts. And I also don't think that this has a community pool either, which is kind of a shame because, like, Desert Shores has a beautiful community pool. Um, but this is one of the most scenic drives in this community because you, if you can see straight ahead at the hillside, and then there's also there should be walking paths. Yeah, there's a walking path along that hillside and as I mentioned before at least I think I mentioned before that there are exercise stations throughout these little walking trails this is the lakes estates another gated community wow look at those houses up there that's beautiful a little peekaboo view of the lake Yeah, I think this is the prettiest part of it. Yeah. There's a bench. I've sat on that bench before. Ooh. Shoot. Thought I was going to make it. <laughs> Didn't hurt to try. <laughs> Look at that. Now that's kind of cool because those houses probably have views of the lake. One of the exercise stations is like a little walker thing right there. It's amazing how many like townhomes and condos they have that are on the water.
Now they do have a lot of apartment like apartments. There's apartments. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go this far. Desert end. So this is the end point. So there's one more little way I wanted to go down. So again, the cross streets are from Sahara to Desert Inn and in between Hualapai and Durango. Just FYI. We went down that way earlier. Stop sign. Yeah, there's a just a brief peeky boo. That's all my friends. Places. Nice. I just wanted to go up here. This is gonna take us to Fort Apache. There's a school right here on the left. I better go slow. I better go slow. Mount Christensen Elementary School. I have a friend that lives in one of these neighborhoods. Yeah. Those look like older than elementary school kids. <laughs> they look like junior high kids. Mariner Cove. So then this is in between Lakeshore North and Lakeshore South. You have Mariner Cove. We'll just go down this and that should include our tour of the lakes. And we're right on Fort Apache right now. That concludes my tour of the Lakes Master Plan community here on the west side of Las Vegas. If you have any questions or if you live in this community, let us know your thoughts about living here. And if you're thinking about buying, you know, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. I've also posted a link to this community on my website at neighborhoods.com where I've done other videos on the lakes and also I have a list of homes for sale in this community. 
So if you want to learn more, just, you know, click on my website to learn more. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. But most importantly, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.